another red day for AMC, you know, but not a 10% or 15%, actually, um, little less than 3%. And even though what was, what was looking like a great day, you know, opened around 560, uh, 550, and then jumped to 580, um, and then from that point forward, never came back and uh, kept, you know, bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Uh, but the good news is after hours, you know, we had uh, uh, two minutes ago, we had a 214% jump after hours. Right now, it's sitting at 178, but it keeps moving up and down. But we'll see how this goes tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow, it's a very interesting day because since it's Friday and it is the last day, uh, I mean, it's the, the, the yeah the last day for um, the options to expire. So those holding options will definitely have to cover tomorrow. I mean, I'm talking about the retails. I'm not talking about, you know, the big investors, um, the hedge funds or the institutional. Even though, I mean, with with the data that were out yesterday, at this point, I don't even think it's worthwhile trusting the data because, I mean, it just doesn't reflect the reality, especially with the inconsistency between the different sources, you know, FINRA and Fintel and, you know, um, the Wall Street Journal, just to name those few. Anyway, you know, I still we still have that two million dollar bet and you know, a two million dollar call with a strike price of twenty dollars. So basically, meaning someone um, invested two million dollars on an option that would give him the right to buy um, the company, so AMC stock at twenty dollars a price. So he does believe that AMC could actually reach twenty dollars. So. Tomorrow will be the last day of the week. We'll see how that goes. We have no information whatsoever on who that investor is, even though we saw that on the option chain. You know, um, I, I shared that with you guys on several videos um, this week and last week as well. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. So if we keep climbing after hours today and then pre-market tomorrow, depending on how big or how huge the gain is, it will maybe give us a potential indication on whether or not we'll have kind of a squeeze happening tomorrow but it seems like the reddit guys you know who started this whole thing have already moved um forward you know with amc stock even though it still remain on one of the list of one of the high shorted stocks um it seems like some reddit users who invested in this stock already sold because they started sharing their profits uh, since yesterday or the day before yesterday and actually, they moved to some bad stocks, you know, um, stocks of companies producing cannabis and marijuana here in U.S. and in Canada. And I think we have also some other few stocks from the oil and gas sector. So I'm not sure exactly um, if the whole movement will, will remain or how strong um, they will remain, you know, dedicated and devoted to the cause. But it seems like AMC is still the most held stocks on, on Robinhood because I think most of the people who bought in late after the squeeze in the, in the 10 plus range are either waiting for the stock to get back in order to cut or to, to, to get out flat and, and, and or cut the losses. Otherwise, um, we ha you have another portion of people just waiting and, and holding to see this thing continue to um to grow slowly and you know organically as more theaters will be opening um as we jump into the summer and as we have um a bunch of the majority of the population being vaccinated at least with the two doses i think once we reach that point then we'll really see how um the the government and the different